Hey, Donnie from Don Richie Designs here. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I built this four foot fence all by myself using reused materials. Stay tuned. So one step I was not able to record was marking out the digging holes for each post. So I'm using a one man auger to dig those holes. You can find one at your local Home Depot. It cost me around 60 bucks for four hours. But be sure before you dig any holes to dial 811 to have your yard checked for any lines, electrical or plumbing. So the rule of thumb is to make your hole three times the width of your post. For me, that's a six inch diameter hole. So for each terminal post, I had to use high strength concrete mix. So it's recommended to put rocks on the bottom of your posts before mixing the concrete and pouring it in to have good drainage. You're looking for a cake batter type mix. That's when you know you're good. So if this was a two man job, your partner would hold the post level as you add the concrete into your hole. So that motion is to get all the extra air pockets out of the concrete. Don't forget to check your level. So for terminal posts, we want to have them 48 inches out of the ground. Because your line posts are to be 2 inches shorter than that. To set your line for level, mark on the terminal post at 48 inches on each post. Then you pull a line to get a consistent level. Line posts are normally nine feet apart. Yeah, that just happened. For the line posts, we're using fast setting concrete mix. So this process is gonna go a little bit different than a high strength concrete. We're gonna add our mix in dry, then add the recommended amount of water to your mix. Then we use a post to help get rid of the air bubbles. Don't forget to level your post. Remember to consistently check your post to be sure that the lines are straight. Now we have to wait for the concrete to cure. So now to install our gate. The best way for me to measure the distance between posts was to lay the gate down where it was to be installed. That will give me a reference point of where each post should have gone. The terminal posts will have male hinges. Those are in a permanent location. The gate, however, has female hinges that you can adjust. Now the tension bands. Each terminal post will have three tension bands. I also added dome caps to each terminal post. When adding tension bands to a corner post, you have to double up the amount of tension bands. So that means six. Be sure to have the straight part of the band towards the outside of your fence. Next is our loop caps or intermediate post caps. These will serve as a guide for the top rail. You want to install these with the loop pointing outward. When adding the top rails, just guide them through the loop caps. You may have to cut your top rails for specific lengths. For that, I used a reciprocating saw with the carbide blade. Now to our wire mesh. At the end of your wire mesh is a tension bar. Using carriage bolts, lock the tension bar into place. This was a half inch socket. Try to evenly space each tension band to provide a uniform pull on your mesh.
So for this step, normally you would use a stretcher. Most times you can rent these. Let's see if I can find a way around this. So using clamps, one side of the clamp goes on the tension bar, the other side goes on a post. Apply pressure and lock it in place. Now install your tension bands. You want to remove any wire mesh beyond the tension bar. Now repeat the clamping process for the lower half of the fence. At this point, it's rinse and repeat. You want to make sure you can barely squeeze the mesh with your fingers. While the line post is pulled tight, now add your fence ties. It works best for doing two posts at a time. Most of the tension is going to be held on the line posts by the fence ties, but we also have to add fencing ties to the top rail. Now we continue that process along the fence. I'm hoping this video gives any of you DIYers the confidence you need to take on any task like this. I thank you so much for joining me on this process and hope to see you soon.
I thank you so much for joining me on this process, and I hope to see you soon. I thank you so much for joining me on this process. And if you want to see more videos like this, I thank you so much for joining me on this process. Hope to see you soon.